all right guys so set your camera on a tripod record your background for like three to five seconds before you go and do the action just like this now let's go to CapCut. all right guys so open CapCut and import your clip so i'm going to add my clip here so this is it so now we're going to cut out some parts of the clip like if you look here where the, your character jumps up you're going to split this so i'm going to split here and also i'll come to where the character is coming on camera and i'll split i'll, I'll split this right all this walking towards the camera is, is useless so i'm going to delete all of this so this is what we're going to have yeah this is what we're going to have great so this is okay so like i said it's always keep some uh some like record the background for like three to five seconds before you go and do the action so uh, this is we need this extra space is very important yeah so you're going to now you're going to go to where your character like is in the air like this and you're going to take a screenshot okay and then you're going to import this as overlay let's crop it so let's go to transform go to resize now we're going to crop it okay so this is what we have Now we're going to remove the background for this. So go to remove that page, you go to auto remove. All right, so this is what we have now. Okay, so it might not look good. Sometimes it doesn't really look good. So now I make it to fit on your actual, your actual picture of, the, of your video, make it to fit. Now, reduce the size of your overlay to like 0 0.4. Okay, so now you're going to move your overlay somewhere around here. Use your two fingers to zoom your timeline like this. This is quite important so this is what we're going to have so far okay now come to your overlay yeah well, you know that remember we just removed the background for it so come to your overlay i'm going to add some keyframes okay so right here we have one keyframe add here and then here you just shift your overlay up to the sky like that so we're going to have something like this yeah so you see like you popping out from the sky so now try to position this very well this is what we're going to have okay all right so next we're going to add two videos as overlay so these videos like the, the one of the ground cracking and the little smoke or the dust so let's add them up i'll leave them in the link in the description so we're going to add them up so I'll shift it here like where your guy is landing so i'll click on overlay and i'll click here add it go to remove bg Go to chroma key select the green color key you add the intensity when you click on okay add the intensity get something like that okay and then you click on that so now we're going to position it down here so let's play it let's see okay so now we need to highlight our overlay go to splice okay and, and select any of this splice effect according to your background you know that will match your background so i'm going to take that in for me and you can control it here how the intensity of your splice effect so now let's play it and see you have to position it right yeah that's okay next we're going to add our smoke effect or the dust effect so as overlay click on add and then we'll go to splice and select filter click on okay so we're going to let's play it and see what happens okay so you can position it properly let's play it again yeah that's not bad at all so now what you're going to do is save it. You can cut out the remaining part of your. Okay, so let's save this in our device. Okay. Now we'll go back, click on new project, import what we just did. All right, now go to where your character is in the air. Like about to land like this. And then split. Highlight this other part of it. Go to motion blur. And then blur it and blend it all to 100. Okay, so let's play it after the motion blur. All right, and right here we need to add our background, uh, our sound effect. So go to sounds. All right, so this is our background music right here. So now, if you want to add an effect to it, to this clip, like the shaking effect, you can just go to effect and make sure your timeline is there, like your line on your timeline should be on that clip. Click on video effect and you search for shake effect 
So I'll take this one. And that is it. All you need to do is save it in your device and see the result.